So before we begin, I want to recognize that the University of Arizona is on the land and territories of indigenous peoples. Arizona is home to 22 federally recognized tribes, which Tucson being the home of the Tohono O'odham and the Paspoyaki tribe. We are committed to diversity and inclusion. The university strives to build sustainable relationship with sovereign na native nations and indigenous communities through education offerings, partnership, and community service. So thank you for everyone for your support and ambassadorship. You have made scholarships and fellowships possible to our students. Today we celebrate you and the students, many of whom have risen above great odds to pursue their college degree. I am really delighted to share with you that we currently have 1,309 enrolled students. So we do have, um, out of those, 754 are into our undergraduate bachelor degrees, 415 into our MPH degrees on campus and online, and 131 in our doctoral program. And guess what? We have nine students in the Emirate, uh, United Arab Emirates for our global campus there. Three graduated and nine are finishing their second year. So Mascoff is all the way to the Middle East and will spend soon to other countries like uh, Mexico and others. So as most of you are you aware, we recently concluded our very successful Zuckerman Challenge fundraising campaign. Thanks to the Zuckerman Family Foundation, we were able to match $2 million in giving and raised over $4 million for scholarships and programs. So the Zuckerman Challenge matching inspired many to give for scholarships. So I am pleased to mention our impressive number of new named scholarships. The, U, the first is the U.S. Surgeon General Richard Carmona Distinguished Public Health Preparedness Scholarship. Thank you, Rich. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Carmona, for your amazing service and dedication to public health. And this scholarship will be given annually to a public health student with a focus on emergency preparedness. Second, we do have the Anthony and, and Joanne Vituru Scholarship. They are here. Thank you very much. It will be given annually to a graduate student to demonstrate a commitment to public health service and leadership. Thank you very much for your support. Next, we have the Evan and Louise Kligman Scholarship that will be awarded to students participating in the Global Health Institute Scholar Program in support of One Health Research Worldwide. We do have the Charlotte and Buddy Mullis Native American Scholarship that will be given annually to a Native American student who demonstrates commitment to indigenous health and native community. The J&J Vozilla Scholarship will be given annually to a full-time graduate student in Biostat. And last but not least, we have the Joanna Westcott Scholarship. Joanna is here somewhere with the cap. Yes, sure. <laughs> And uh, thanks so much, Joanna and Bill Westcott, for your support and for being such an outstanding supporter of public health and a community advisory board member. So in addition to our new named scholarships, we want to mention all those scholarship and support that have grown, again, with the inspiration from the Zuckerman Challenge. The scholarship now have additional funding so we can serve more students in need. We want to express our gratitude and profound appreciation for the new funds provided for the Chicano Per La Causa Scholarship, the Nichols Initiative Scholar Awards, and the Joel Valdez Scholarship. Thank you. I also want to remind everyone that as an extra opportunity today, we will have a first look to our new student service offices on the 
first ground. If you look behind, we have moved our, we have moved our student affair offices downstairs, so they will be visible and accessible to all students, prospective and current, as well as their families. I want to also take this opportunity to thank the wonderful team. The star of the show who has put all of this together, I would like you to meet with her, is Amber Richmond. Where is Amber? <laughs> right there. I was actually traveling for almost three weeks, and I came a few days ago, and I said, what's going on? She said, relax, everything is taken care of. <laughs> so thank you, Amber. So I would like to uh, also uh, thank all of the teams with the event, with Amber, with Kim Bourne, our uh, communication team with Shepard, Paula, and Erin, our development team, Donna, whom you all know, and uh, Katie, and last but not least, our student affair teams with Andre, our assistant, new assistant dean for student affair, as well as Hisella, who did a great job working with Amber. Thank you.